in our triangle notebooks and we're learning about concurrent lines in triangles. Um, concurrent means three or more lines that cross at one point called a point of concurrency. There are three different, four different types, excuse me, of concurrent lines. There's the altitude, median, those are new ones that we haven't learned yet, perpendicular bisector, and angle bisector, which we have already learned. Um, in each of these triangles, we can put three of each of these types of lines, and if we do them correctly, they should all line up at a point somewhere inside, on, or outside of the triangle, depending on which one it is. Okay, um, let's go ahead and review the two that we should already know. A perpendicular bisector, let's re um, define it really fast, is a line that goes through the midpoint of a side that's the bisector part of it at a 90 degree angle that's the perpendicular part of it okay so first thing we need to do is find the midpoint. I'm just going to estimate by measuring. So that's five centimeters, so like two and a half centimeters would be the midpoint. The next thing we need to do is draw a perpendicular line. So if you use your protractor, you've got the lines going this way as well as the line going this way, and this line is parallel to that. So if you take and line up your triangle, the bottom of the triangle with like the dash at three inches, or somewhere else would be fine too, but just line up the bottom of your triangle with the measurement markings here. Then you can use the edge to draw the perpendicular bisector. In order to truly show that that is a perpendicular bisector, we must show the 90 degree angle for perpendicular, and we must show the congruent pieces for bisector. Um, I already said this a few minutes ago, but you can actually create the perpendicular bisector on every side like this one would go in here and this one would go like right here you're going to be able to do that on your homework today so all I want to do is just do the one so you can see one at a time but be aware that you could put all three of those in there and they should cross all at one point I think they will actually cross at this point because this is a right triangle okay the next one you should already know is called an angle bisector an angle bisector is a line that goes through the middle of the angle creating two congruent angles okay so if you wanted to do this officially, you would measure the angle and determine, oh, that's 90 degrees. So if I want to bisect that angle, that would be 45 degrees. So I can kind of line it up with 45 degrees here. And then I can connect that corner to there. And that should give me an angle bisector so that, that is congruent to that. Usually I'm not quite so careful with using a protractor, although it's not a bad idea to do it that way. Generally, though, I would just, if I'm supposed to draw an angle bisector, just kind of eyeball it and then make sure I've marked it correctly. Unless you're actually supposed to find the point where those lines cross, because likewise, you know, you could measure this angle, say, oh, this one is 60 degrees, so half of it would be 30, so that would be about there. You can draw in the other two angle bisectors and then see where they all cross, and it's probably going to be right there in the Okay, now to the two that we don't know yet. First one is altitude. Altitude is height, is another word for altitude. Um, the way that we draw it is that it's a line from a vertex perpendicular to the opposite side. So again, I'm going to use my protractor to keep this at a perpendicular angle like this, but then I want to make sure that I'm connecting right through that vertex. 
So there would be my altitude right there. And that's the only thing you need to mark. A median is a line from a vertex to the midpoint of the opposite side. So I, start, I first measure, and I think these triangles are all the same, so it's 5 centimeters, so half will be 2.5. And then you just draw a line from the corner to that midpoint. And of course, like all the others, you can actually do one from each to each midpoint of each side. The altitude's a little bit harder because to do the altitude, you kind of have to turn your paper like this. And this one would be like straight down on that side, and there would be another one from that corner going straight down on this side, and they end up all crossing right on that corner. But there really are three altitudes, three medians, three perpendicular bisectors, and three angle bisectors in each triangle.